Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're going to be working on number four on the new general curriculum math subtest as part of the Go Academy 2016-2017 teacher workshop series. Number four on the new exam covers on values represented in base 10 and base 5. And for a lot of teachers, this sounds very, very new. And I admit, converting from base 5 to base 10 and backwards and forwards is new. But some of this stuff you've already had exposure to. So it's just adding on a little bit of uh, exposure on this stuff. So we're going to do that today. And you're going to feel better about it after today's video. All right, first, let's read over number four. And then we'll solve it together. It says, the base 10 number, 827, is written in base 5 as 113025. What is the base 10 value of the digit 3 in this number? Okay. Now I understand that base 10, base 5 is new stuff. I agree. But let's focus on the numbers that you know. So let's take a look at 827. Let's Let's blow up 827 because that's what we're familiar with and we got to start there whenever we add on new information. 827. If I asked you what are the values of each one of these digits, well a lot of teachers would be like, well the 7 is in the 1's place and the 2 is in the 10's place and the 8 is in the 100's place. And you'd be absolutely right. And so we'd be like, what's the value of the 7 digit? You'd be like, oh it's 7 times 1 or 7. And the two digit, oh, the two is two tens or 20. And the eight digit, oh, the eight is eight one hundredths or 800. Thumbs up. Now, 827 is written in base 10. And, and, that, and you've al already been doing this. The only thing I have to add on is understanding how we got these base tens, how we got the one, the 10, the 100 and the thousand and so on and so on and so on. Thousand's not here, but it would be the next one up. Because if we can understand how you got that, it's going to be a lot easier to look at base five numbers. So let's just add this one other element to this. Since this is in base 10, base 10 comes from the fact that another way of representing one is to do 10 to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is always one. So really, this seven here is really seven times 10 to the 0 power, which is 7 times 1. Let me make that clear so we're all on the same page. That's the same as 7 times 1, or 7. And this one right here, 10, is really 10 to the first power, which is equal to 10. So this 2 here is really 2 times 10 to the first power, or 2 times 10, or 20. And 100, well, see, see this pattern here, 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1st. What do you think that this 100 is going to be? 10 to the 2nd. See that? We always start with the base to the 0, the base to the 1, the base to the 2. 10 to the 2nd is 100. So this is uh, 8 times 10 to the 2nd, or 8 times 100, or 800. And it gets us this value of 827. All right, now you've been always doing this. This is just the only thing we're adding is another way of looking at the ones, tens, hundreds, and so on and so on and so on. Now let's look at another number written in base five, and we're gonna match this up very closely to what we just did. I'll write out the number in a box. Now it's telling us that this number here in base five is gonna all add up to 827. So that's what, that if we, we'll know we did it right if it all adds up to 827. And there's a, a couple, there's one, two, three, four, five place values here. So I'm going to make five lines, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, it gives me the digits. It says, you know, we got a, a one, a one, a three, a zero, and a two. And, and guess what? We're looking for the three digit. What is the value of the of the three digit? Is that, that right? That's what it says. It says the three digit here, and uh, that means the three digit here, which means the three digit here. That's ultimately what we're trying to uh, figure out what that value of that three digit is. Now, if I asked you, like, what's the value of the two digit? 
you'd be like, oh, the two digit, that's two tens or 20. Well, now we're going to be doing the same thing, but looking at what's the value of the five, uh, the three digit in this place. Okay. Just like when we did these, uh, these base values for here, we did all, we did the base to the zero power, the base to the first. Well, this one's going to be base five, so it's going to be five to the zero. The next one's going to be five to the first. The next one is going to be five to the second, five to the third, five to the fourth, right? This is new, but this is follows the same format as base 10. Now let's just rethink this for a moment. Um, I know that this first digit here is going to be 2 times 5 to the 0 power, and we are already said anything to the 0 power is 1. So this is really 2 times 1, or 2. So the 2 digit in base 5 is, is equal to 2. And let's do the 5 digit, I mean this digit here. This is 0 times 5 to the first. 5 to the first is just 5, so 0 times 5, well that, and that's just 0, and that's pretty self-explanatory. The value of 0 is 0. Now let's do number 3, which is actually the, our answer. What's 5 times 5? 25. So the 3 digit is equal to 3 times 5 to the second, or 3 times 25. What's 3 times 25? 75. And guess what? Whammy bammy. The value of the digit 3 in this number in base 5 is equal to B. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's just, let's just, just keep going because I, I know that not everyone sees that this is equal to the 827. Let's just keep going. The 1 digit, well, 5, this is uh, 5 cubed is 125, and 5 to the 4th power is like 5 squared times 5 squared or 25 times 25, that's 625. So this digit here in this place is 1 times 5 to the 3rd, or 1 times um, 125, or 125, and this one right here is 1 times 5 to the 4th, or 1 times 625, or 6. 25. Now if we were to add up these values, 625 plus 125 plus 75 plus 2, what do you think we're going to get? Well, I already said, and they've already said, that this number represents 827. So we should anticipate that this should add up to 827. Now let's see if that's the case. 625 plus uh, 125 is 750. Seven, uh, seven, 75 plus 2 is 77. All right, now i got to do this last one here. Maybe I'll move this one over here like that. This would get us, if I rewrite it over here, I'd get a 7, I'd get a 2, I'd carry it, I'd get 827, and look at that. This base 2 number, this base 5 number, matches up with our base 10 number. All right, team, I love this problem. It's cool, new math, with mixed in some stuff that you already knew. I hope you found this video helpful. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.